hey guys i'm rachel welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for watching please subscribe and hit the little bell so you'll be notified every time i upload a video here and also the little thumbs up button as well okay and look at my entire video please and thank you so happy new year happy 2020 to every single one this is my first video of 2020 i did not do any looks over the holidays i just took a break i needed it and i took it so this is my first video so happy new year to everyone um i hope your holidays were great and that you achieve everything you set off to achieve in the new year and at least we are here and we are alive we are alive so there must be a reason for that so take full advantage of that so today is my top top favorite products of 2019 products i'm still reaching for in 2020 products i love and continue to love on really really hard so if you want to see that let's hop to it also this look that i'm wearing here will be uploaded in my next tutorial to come so stay tuned for that as well i don't want to waste so much time because i don't want to make this video too long so i'm going to start in the order in which i i, I apply damn can i talk today i'm gonna start in the order in which i apply my makeup i'm rusty because i haven't sat down here in a while so bear with me so i'm gonna start with primers and before i go into primers i feel like over the year 2019 i'm at a place where i'm just very very comfortable with the way my makeup looks and i'm very very aware of the products and the finishes I'm looking for from my products so I feel like I had a lot of luck with products in 2019 because of that I know what it is I love and what I'm looking for so hence for so hence the reason for some of these products they're probably almost almost do the same thing but I love them so I'm gonna start with primers and as for primers I love primers that has more of a skincare like feel that is going to absorb into my skin like a lotion but actually promote the longevity of my makeup if that makes sense and the first one that i love is fenty beauty soft oh <laughs> let's try this again <laughs> okay the first one i'm loving is the fenty beauty soft matte primer and it is what it says it's a soft matte i do not reach for mattifying primers i have more for oily combination skin i find that mattifying primers tend to make me produce more oils in the long run so i always try to keep my skin very hydrated in my skincare and i reach for softer matte finish and things are just going to promote the longevity of my makeup but not too mattifying and this is what it said it's a very soft matte finish and it does have a sort of skincare like feel it just absorbs into your skin and this is my second bottle it's a travel size so i am going to commit to a full size one because i'm pretty sure i love it and that's something i should mention that if you're in doubt of a product you can also always try the the sample size like you can always go into sephora or wherever and get a sample or you can just commit to a travel size so you will know if you want to commit to a fuller size so i'm definitely going to get the full size in this one the other one is the milk hydro grip primer and this primer is the bomb diggity i think this is my favorite primer of all time it has this technology that when you apply it on your skin it dries onto a nice tacky feel and it absorbs like skincare but it leaves this tacky feel on your skin that's just gonna grip your makeup and stick it to your skin like glue but it's not like something that's heavy and does you just know that it's there on your skin because some primers can leave stuff a residue on your skin it does not do that it just promotes the longevity of your makeup so i love this primer moving on to foundations um my first foundation is the infallible um fresh wear foundation from l'oreal this is my second bottle i have a shit ton of foundation and it's very very rare that i run through an entire bottle of foundation very very rare so quickly and this is my second bottle in months from the time i've discovered this foundation and i love it i have my shade in 510 it is what it says it's a fresh wear foundation this foundation can do no wrong you can build it up to a full coverage you can do a very thin coverage it's just never gonna get cakey on your face it never settles into my fine lines it always remains very fresh on my skin and it lasts very very long i'm a person that i i am a nail tech and I am a makeup artist. The link to my description is the link to my social media and how to book me is in my description box. So check that out. And I'm always in people's face. I always have clients and customers in 
in like we like this so i need my my makeup to last i i work long hours more than 10 hours sometimes and i need my makeup to last and i need if you're always in my face i need to look pleasant and pleasing to your eyes so i look for things like that for my foundation and this one is the bomb and it's drug so you can't go wrong with it and it comes with a pump try it if you haven't another drugstore one is the maybelline dream urban cover full protective makeup with um sunscreen this is very good especially um because it contains sunscreen for daytime because i don't know if you know but you should always be trying to use your sunscreen always use your sun your sunscreen whether it's, it's hot outside or not um i'm learning that I've, I've known that but i'm just like really seeing the results of it so this one has antioxidants and enriched pollutant protection for your skin and it's very similar to that one it lasts really really well it's very soft on the skin they're matte but they're like a softer matte finish if that makes sense they're between a velvet matte satin sort of finish and i love those sort of um finishes in foundation and like i said i love my foundation to last and i like the effect of a full coverage foundation on my face but not looking like i'm wearing a full coverage foundation so this one does it for me as well moving on to a higher end brand the urban decay stay naked weightless liquid foundation this is my favorite find of 2019 as you can see i'm like almost almost through this foundation i give it a rest because i'm like oh my god um this foundation i reach for together with the l'oreal one when i do not know what i want to wear because i'm like i have an array of foundations today i just reach for this because i know they never never disappoint me and it is what it said it's a lightweight foundation this foundation almost dissolves into your skin it blends itself so well i would apply this with a brush and try to go over it with a beauty blender and i swear it like it just sinks into my skin and i hate when foundation sits on top of my skin and this one does not do that it's lightweight it is full coverage it is a velvet soft comfortable matte it airbrushes your skin your skin looks smooth as velvet and it lasts all day i do not know what they did what technology they use in this foundation but it is amazing and the packaging is so light like there's nothing in my hand so it's great to travel with as well like i can't give this foundation enough praise it's, it's just an amazing and amazing foundation it is it's lovely very lovely the other one is the beauty blender bounce foundation <sighs> you guys i haven't used this foundation a lot on my channel but i have been in my daily routine and this foundation oh my god oh my god it is thicker it's similar to the l'oreal one but it's a thicker formula a little bit goes a very long way and it's more of a upscale from the infallible one because it's more glammed and it is matte again but they're the soft matte velvety finish sort of satiny finish that they're just beautiful and they look lovely on the skin they um they set well they work well with any product you put over top like these are things i look for in products i need my products to mesh well because i'm using products from different brands and things like that so they work well with whatever it is you put whatever primer whatever powders whatever the case might be it's just an amazing and amazing foundation it comes with a pump again and the technology is just it's nice you pump it in here and you use your blender to pick the, the product up i don't do that because i'm ocd so i just pump it whatever but um it's it's like a real when you want a real real full coverage foundation that's it and a little bit goes a very very long way um i do think that you probably could overdo it with this foundation because it's so much of a thicker formula just remember a little goes a long way with it and i just want to mention this one um i just started to use this one it's not worthy of my favorites because i've been using it in the latter part of 2019 but i know it's going to be a favorite one of mine this one is of a fuller coverage but i want to mention it because it mixes well i mix it with any other foundation because it's so full coverage and it just takes the foundation to another level with the l'oreal one or with that one just another level so i just thought i would mention it it's a smashbox studio skin full coverage foundation so I'm putting that out there i forgot to mention in primers although this is like an eyeshadow primer oh shoot it's an eyeshadow primer it's a the milani one use it as um a priming step as well and i forgot to mention like i said so i like to apply that in my smile lines um over my eyes which is what is meant for and underneath my eyes and anywhere i feel like i tend to get 
oilier during the day it really just um creates sort of a waterproof something over your skin it's like a barrier so when you put your foundation and stuff over top it doesn't sink into your fine lines underneath your eyes it like it primes your eyes for the shadow and for whatever um, primer you're going to use um so i really love it it's the milani one like i said it's very inexpensive i think i want to try another one but i think they all have the same technology to it so that's what i use this one for so i just thought i'd throw that out there all right so moving on to concealers so i'm still loving the concealers i loved the last year like i said i will link uh, my last 2018 favorites in the description box i still love them the Tarte shape tape the Too Faced Born This Way, like I love them, I still reach for them. But for 2019, I've discovered the ELF 16 hour camera concealer. And this one to me is like a perfect dupe to the Tarte Shape Tape and it's cheaper, it's five bucks. You cannot go wrong with this concealer. It blends well, it's full coverage. There's nothing much I can say, it's just it's just great. Um, I don't hear anyone talking about this, this concealer so much, but it's the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop um, concealer and they are really really nice and they remind me of the nars creamy radiant concealer they are not drying they're not extremely matte but they sit very well underneath the eyes they um i just apply that give it a couple seconds to to like dry down and i blend it out and it stays put i don't feel like i have a lot with much drug so concealers because everyone has fine lines underneath their eyes and it is gonna settle but some drugs so concealers for me like when i when i look at my fine lines it's like i'm seeing the line and i'm seeing the concealer i'm seeing the line and the line has my skin like i'm seeing my skin and the concealer so once a concealer does that to me i do not like it which more happens on the inner corner of my eyes right here that's where i have more fine lines so anything that settles and i see it settling i just do not want it it just doesn't dissolve but this one does not do that for me um none of the concealers i'm talking about does that to me the morphe one morphe has a lot of mixed reviews with the products but i love this concealer it's very similar to the one i'm going to be talking about it's very light but it gives you a full coverage because it's so pigmented and i do the same thing with all my concealers i give them a couple seconds or up to a minute to dry down and get tacky so the coverage is fuller and it stays put to where you wherever you place it on your face and the morphe one it's very smooth i remember wearing this con this concealer and my friend complimented my makeup my friends don't compliment my makeup because they know i'm always wearing makeup anyways like part of me but she complimented just like oh my god your eye underneath your eyes look so so smooth and i was like it's like it looks so smooth today i'm like really and i knew i was wearing this with um the powders i'm gonna speak about later on but i was like oh my god i want to pay attention to it i realized um it was that concealer it's so smoothing and it stays pigmented so underneath your eyes always stays highlighted once you use the right powders to set that it's always gonna look highlighted so i love that some some concealers when you set them with a the powder it can change the color of it that it doesn't really happen with this one and my recent most recent find 2019 is the benefit boing <laughs> cakeless concealer i think this is my favorite find of 2019 like i guess it is very similar to the morphe one it's very pigmented it's very light and it's covering it doesn't settle into my fine lines like that and it um it blurs <laughs> it it sits well on your skin and it blends so so easy it's almost like the foundation like the urban decay foundation it just blends there you, you do not have to do a lot of blending and work with it it's just a really 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 nice form and i just love how lightweight it is and how much coverage and the longevity of it setting powders so fenty beauty powder like i think fenty is one of my higher end favorite brands like easily easily i would just choose fenty over anything um this powder again it's amazing i have my shade in cashew now if you want it's so finely milled and it smooths underneath your eyes like all my powders they're just smooth underneath your eyes it um it, i love the color of it like um it's not too bright it's not too dark it, it does gives you a nice subtle highlight underneath your eyes if you're not someone who likes to go like too light underneath your eyes like and you're my sort of complexion this is gonna work perfect for you cashew huda beauty huda beauty powder i have my shade in blonde this powder made me want to bake because it does not emphasize dryness it doesn't settle it smooths it's so fine it's such an amazing powder like for example the laura mercier powder it's a really nice powder but it's so drying 
so and um depends on what concealer you're pairing it with like for example if i was to pair Tarte shape tape with laurium laura mercier powder like i can't do that my eyes look creepy and dry you know what i mean but this powder it's just like the bomb they're like really nice and together i mix them together and they're even better sephora sephora micro smooth finishing powder it's a big powder i've been using this powder forever and I, I almost forgot to mention it. I always reach for this powder to finish. Like, if you feel like you went too light with your powders or your face looks sort of like ghosty, I use this powder to just even out everything. Like I say, it's a finishing powder. It's very smooth and it has the tiniest, slightest sheen to it. So your face doesn't look too dry at the end of the day. And I always, always keep this in my purse. That's why I almost forgot to mention it. But I've been using this powder for years and it's always one of my go-to powders. I love it very much. Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Waterproof Powder Transparent. This powder. This is such a great powder. I like to use this as a touch-up powder. Like I said, this lives in my purse. And like I mentioned earlier, I work 10 hour jobs sometimes. And like I said, I am a nail tech and a makeup artist. So my the links are in my description box. Check it out. This powder, whenever like after eight hours, my face had to produce a little extra oil in my T-zone where I get oily. I just take some of this on a puff and I just press it into those areas and the powder disappears. It is such an amazing powder and it doesn't add anything to your skin. It's totally, totally translucent. Like I said, it lives in my purse and I thought I should mention this, um, this powder. Let's move on to like contour. Colourpop Stick Foundation. I use this, the shade 197 to, to um, when I want to do a creamish contour. I've been using this for more than a year and I love it. It's very easy to blend. I just always reach for it. And because I have it, I don't even look for any other... I don't even look for any other contouring products. I just love it. I know it works well. The shade is wonderful and I always refer. It's very creamy. It blends easy. And to set my contour, again, I have a Fenty Beauty bronzer. Like this bronzer, I have my shade in Coconutty. As you can see, it's a very well loved. Like I just always, always gravitate towards this bronzer. It is matte and it builds so lovely on your skin. I don't think you can overdo it with this bronzer. It does, it has this formulation where it allows you to build until you get the desired consistency and coverage that you want from it. You cannot go wrong with this bronzer. It's just so beauty. Like I said, Fenty Beauty, easily one of my favorite higher end brands. And another one, this one is drugstore. It's the um, Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark. Like, like I said, I've used this one for years and I just probably never mentioned one of my favorites but I'm always going back and forth with this too especially the color I like to use it that is more of a cooler tone when I really want to create a glam look to just make my face look more <laughs> I like reaching for this to just give a little definition that's all the way to the back of my hair it just gives this nice finished product and the formula is great like you cannot go wrong with that blushes slick contour um slick makeup I love this palette this is just if you're my complexion like you cannot go wrong with this blush look at the colors in this it's perfect for fall for spring for summer whatever the case might be it's a and the formula it's amazing it's so pigmented just like the next one i'm going to mention the alamar cosmetics blush this one like these blushes are so pigmented and if you are uh, your makeup enthusiast you will know that blush is one of the first thing to come off your face but these brushes even though they fade they're never gone they're never totally gone they always leave a nice effect on your skin because they're so pigmented a little bit goes a long way but they last so well on your skin it's almost like it's there throughout the day even though it's faded because it's so pigmented and they blend so well like you cannot go wrong with things like that moving on to the eyes for my brows i've loved the maybelline tattoo studio um pomade this pomade is like is what it says like a tattoo so i don't do much to my brows but i would outline my brows and sort of fill them in where i have sparseness in my brows and just comb it through with a spoolie and it almost sets your brows you don't ha actually have to go in with a brow gel if you don't want to when it's it's sort of um it's a pomade but it is not slippery on your skin it's really tacky so it's gonna grip to your skin and just stay really put on your skin and that's what i love about this formula and i have to mention this morphe palette this 25b palette obviously i've had this very long because this is not even the packaging of the morphe um palettes anymore um, I use this a lot for my brows and for any go-to look that I just don't know that I want to produce like you can see where I'm actually hitting pan on those colors it's like I like I love to use this to set my brows it has the perfect tones in there for me and I have to repurchase a new one because like look at this look at this <laughs> so I just thought I'll mention that it's one of my favorite products for my brows and for everyday looks 
it has always been for years as you can see Remel lash accelerator is my favorite mascara for my bottom lashes this is the only mascara i've ever used that never transfers to my my skin because my lashes are freaking long in the bottom and they tend to transform when i do produce sweat in these areas you will see black dots and i hate 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 that because i am not someone who likes to touch up my makeup on the go that's why i take so much time in how i want my makeup to look this one does not do that and i'm still looking for another one because i mean this is the only one that i found that doesn't do it so i love it for my bottom lashes for my top lashes essence lash princess i love 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 this formula the wand everything i like layering this mascara with almost any other mascara any mascara in the essence line to me they are really nice because i have others that i love they create this nice clump but not to clump give you volume give you length so i just love layering my, my mascaras especially with the essence one let's speak about lashes like i'm still loving kiss lashes like there's no way in hell i'm gonna spend more than ten dollars for lashes like never gonna happen i'm not a big fan of lashes because i hate when they're so heavy on your eyes and i have a small face you may not see it but my face is small and i do not want anything to just overpower my face altogether so i just love kiss lashes specifically the so wispy line so i love number nine and number three i always reach for them and i always use their super strong whole glue i've been using this glue for years as well it never fills me i love it because i take my lashes off at night so i just thought i'd throw that in there if you're sleeping on the kiss lashes from the beauty supply store please don't they are wonderful and they're inexpensive. Their, their, their band is very invisible, so it doesn't feel heavy on your eyes. You almost do not know you're wearing lashes, so I love these. Moving on like to eyeshadow, but before I go into eyeshadows, and I want to speak about these brushes, and I forgot to mention this brush in my foundation. <laughs> I should have mentioned it before. Um, this is a brush that I found from Amazon. I'm going to list it in the description box. $10 and I'm not a big foundation brush girl, but I've been loving this I've been reaching for this so much and then going over my makeup with a sponge I love 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 this fun this foundation brush That's the only brush I found so far that I love so much from Amazon as like I said I will list it in the description box and this year I've discovered um, The Jaclyn Hill brushes for her Morphe is Jaclyn Hill GH 35 and 34. I love these brushes. These brushes have all these are the only brushes I've been using to blend my eyeshadows in my crease i haven't reached for any other blending brushes since i discovered these brushes another one i want to mention is on the bh cosmetics number no. four brush you see the way the brush is shaped if you're someone who has problem in finding your crease or trying to create a cut crease or just want to be a very minimal look but you want it to be sort of a more defined minimal look if in if you know what i'm talking about this brush gets so nice in your crease like right here and you can place the shadow and give it the slightest blend like i just love 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 this brush and i've had it so long in my collection and just never used it and now i want to back up on a couple of these because it's so great for me because i i have to look for my crease my crease is not very defined as some some other people's eyes like i have slightly hooded eyes so this just fits nicely into my crease to emphasize any color or to make anything look a little more smoky than i wanted to it's just perfect moving on to eyeshadows I still love the shadows I've been loving from last year, Colourpop and Shayla. I'm still reaching for these palettes, but I want to mention these new ones. The So Jaded palette from Kathleen Lights. Like, and I spoke about this in um, some of my favorite fall shadows I will list. That is that video in the description box as well. Like, look at it. Look at the colors. Like, really? I can't say anything else about it. And Colourpop is very affordable. The shadows blend really well. They're not the best best quality of shadows i feel like you're hits and misses with them um but they blend well and for the price they're good you know what i mean and, and to have a palette that looks like this with all these colors i mean you cannot go wrong with it the only thing i just feel like if you like just really really dark certain things finding a transition shade and stuff in here will be impossible for you but other than that you can't go wrong with the palette i've reached for it a lot a lot in 2019 since it released those of colors Katie and Desi Friendcation palette like clearly I love this palette and I don't think I've ever used it I probably used it once in a tutorial I think the Young Bay tutorial I'm gonna list that one in the description box as well like this is one of the best shadows and um, palette that I have <sighs> the light this is one of the best um those of colors make some of the best eyeshadows they are so pigmented you just have to just whoop into this to get pigment and it's just it blends so well like i said it's so pigmented like you cannot go wrong and these shadows this the this um block party shadows i think they call them like look at them this color here is my favorite one just a kiss as you can see it's like 
real deep in there i love just using some bronze over my eyes and throwing this over my eyes it just makes it so beautiful like i said i will link the video where i use this palette in the description box and this is one of the most expensive palettes that i own together with the next one that i'm going to speak about which is tarty beauty palette this palette just released like two months ago but i cannot not mention it because i've been using it ever since i did a wedding party in december and i went with this palette um the dose of colors palette and of course jacqueline hill palette this is my favorite palette of all time the jacqueline hill palette i'm still loving it. like i said this is my 2018 favorite but this look i mean i mean come on i mean <laughs> really what else can I say about this palette? Huh? And it's tarty. It's tarty beauty. Like, it would have sucked if she didn't do well at this. She's been doing this for too long to give us any crappy ass product. This product is, these are so, so freaking nice. It's everybody's dream. The only, only con with this palette for me is I just do not like the brown ritual in the matte formula. I feel like I have better bronze than that. But, I mean, come on come on i use this palette to create this eye look today as well like i said it will be in the next tutorial coming all right on to lips i'm still loving my bff3 and 4 lip liners like i have these in backups i don't know if i'm gonna go i'm gonna find another one i love anytime soon i still love them they're the perfect tones if you're my complexion like you just can't go wrong with it and they last pretty well on your lip i feel like this was the year for me where i was really into like lip glosses and things like that like before i was more like a matte li um, liquid lipstick girl but i feel like i'm just really reaching for a lot of glosses these days and i this is my favorite gloss of all time it's the angel food kick from nyx butter gloss like i love this i can't tell you how much of these i've purchased fenty beauty the original the first one she came out with like i'm wearing it today as well like you cannot go wrong with fenty beauty glosses and a newer discovery in 2019 for me is Patrick Ta. Is she younger than me? This is like these glosses are so juicy. They always remain glossy on your lip, but they are not like sticky. They don't make you feel like you're wearing a gloss, but your lips are just so shiny, and it stays glossy. And even even after it fades a little, it just does something beautiful to your lip. And this one in particular has this really nice reflex in it that comes out that you see. Like you will buy a gloss and it will be reflex, but you don't see it. When you apply this one on your lip, you see every reflex on your lip. And I love it so much. They're just, they're just beautiful, beautiful glosses. This one is a lip lacquer from Maybelline. It's a vivid hot lacquer in the shade Unreal. I've been reaching for a lot of more like browner, caramel tones, lip, um, lipsticks lately too this year i realized and last year um year before in 2018 i was more about the the copper tones and the, the tangerine colors and whatever but this year i'm like all into like the caramels and the browns and this one looks great on its own or over top any other color that you want to manipulate i love the lip lacquers from maybelline and they're very inexpensive moving on to l'oreal lip signatures this one again like i said i've been moving away from liquid lipsticks and this one is i don't know it's such a light formula and it lasts so well on your lip like you can never go crazy with it. you can never like add too much it never gets cakey and it lasts so well and I, my favorite color is um i explore i love it this with my lip liners and the perfect perfect brown for me um color pop lip satin in spritz I'm wearing it today and I topped it with a Fenty Floss Bomb and this one has been my most used combo in 2019 together with the lip liners. When it fades, because this sort of stains my lips, so when it fades, it just creates my lip but better and the Fenty Gloss fades into it nicely. It's just my favorite combo, like I said, from 2019. Um, the only thing about ColourPop is like, ColourPop is like fast forward, like fashion forward. They're always changing their shit. Things don't stay long. So I don't know if they still have that. I'm gonna look to see if they still have it on their site, but I'm pretty sure you can find some other lip satin color or whatever. It's just beautiful. I just thought I'd mention it because I have been using it all 2019. Two newer form, jeez two newer formulas i have discovered in 2019 and they're not like new um on the market they're just new to me it's the fenty lip stunners and the ofra liquid lipstick like i have been underneath a rock the fenty i did not try fenty because i feel like i have so much reds and the colors that she had i feel like you know i have them some in some similar shit i don't need them but this one was gifted to me and i'm telling you this is the best red ever ever it looks good on every freaking body 
and it's not drying on your lips it doesn't dry on your lips if you're someone who hates liquid lipstick because it dries and emphasizes all the lines on your lips this does not do this the only thing is i don't feel like it dries onto a totally matte finish it does transfer a little bit but it lasts really well regardless and it's it's just a beautiful formula no i want to get all the colors that she has because it's just not drying it's not uncomfortable on my lip and the ofra one and my shade i love in it is verona like i said it's a nice neutral nude color paired with any lip liner it looks really good and it's very similar to the fenty one the formula is just so nice it dries down to this one dries totally totally matte but it's not drying it does not emphasize the lines on your lips and it does not make you feel uncomfortable at the end of the day like you're wondering oh my god why are my lips so dry and if, if that happens you can reach for any of the glosses that i mentioned you know to just change the formula a little bit make it more comfortable for you but you don't need to do that with this one it's just perfect the formula is perfect and I, I need to get more of this ones as well and um when it comes to formula again i just thought i'll mention the bh cosmetics liquid lips they're very similar they're very light and they're not very drying on your lip they're not uncomfortable i just not i'm not going to mention a specific shade just that the formula so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative in the formulas to the ones that I mentioned, you can try the BH Cosmetics Liquid Lips. They are amazing. And I just have to mention this last one because I have been using it a lot too in the fall. I've been reaching for more darker red. So I've been using ColourPop Pearl Next Door. I don't think the ColourPop even have this one still, but it's a dark red. I like mixing those two together. They create the perfect, perfect uh, dark red lip to me where it's not too dark and it's not too red, just a nice balance. So I just have to mention that I've been mixing this together because it was one of my favorite go-to lips um so I, I could not not mention it you know what i mean so like i said everything that i talk about will be in the description box any links i need to place will be there as well i will link any video that i feel is relevant to this video um thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and that you've discovered some new products if you haven't if you have you know let me know what are some of your favorite products in the description box as well let's start a conversation there so um thank you so so much for watching let's continue to touch the wall one face at a time and i'll see you in my next video next week bye guys